We're going to use my mini for all of the projects today. So I'm going to open up a new document. Anyways, let's get started. We'll go back here. We're going to heart it up. I want to make this heart. I'm going to hold down the control button, drag and drop. I'm going to lock my aspect ratio, and I want this guy to be one and one half inches. That's a good size for a pendant. I'm going to step it over. It's actually going to be 1.75 when I'm done. So I'm going to duplicate and then increase this one to 1.75. See, when you do this, it creates this weird thing here where it's bigger up here and smaller down there. And I want a uniform step away from that. So what we'll actually do is we'll go to the contour tool over here we'll do a single step we'll do it away outside contour and the step is going to be an eighth of an inch so 0.125 inches single step apply once and then it actually applied but it's line if you look at this right here is still white we want that to be black so i'm just going to right click over here black well I need to break the contour the quick key for this is Control K. I'm going to be clicking everything just because that's the guy I am. All right, now we turn that black, and now we have a uniform border around the entire thing. We're going to turn this uniform border to a hairline so it cuts out. This one doesn't need to be a hairline. We're going to make it at a single point just to thicken it up a little bit. But we are going to turn it into an empty power clip frame. And then we're just going to jump right in. We're going to make a little circle for the string that we're going to put up. I'm going to again hold control to drag it just so that it's an even circle. And then I'll go up here and manually change it to 0.13 inches. And then I'll make it a hairline because that's going to be where our actual uh, metal ring goes. And I will drag it right here. Fill them like this for pickles. All right, and that's where our, our line is going to tie in. So once we have that done, we'll actually go inside. We're going to right click, edit power clip. And now we're inside the power clip. So anything we do in here won't show outside of this area which is really great because this blue so our part right here is all that's going to show through and i want to do some type of 3d texturing i've gotten into the 3d texturing lately and i've just been really enjoying myself and you could do it with damn any kind of shapes that you can imagine so we'll go back to the basic shapes tool let's do uh Let's do teardrops. I like teardrops. Pretty, don't get me wrong, I like it, but it comes out pretty thin. So, let's do this with it. Drag it a little bigger. middle it up a bit and then let's do a contour on it too but we're gonna do an outside contour of not a whole lot let's do a 0 0.05 inches one step we're gonna do it white with a white fill and then this will engrave inside this and it just looks prettier what do you think? All right. Now we'll take this whole thing. We're going to control G to group it. Actually, control U to ungroup it. And it's power clip. We're going to turn everything in here, convert it into a bitmap. 300 is the highest DPI it'll go for whatever reason. Yankee. Yeah. 
That makes it look really funky. But it makes it engraved better. So, whatever. Then we're going to control G to group it, control D to duplicate it. Step it down here. Now I've got the front and back of my pendant. That's pretty. I think it would be prettier if we turned it back up, like upwards instead of to the left or right. So. Alright, that's the second heart. Let's do two more. We can fit two more in here. We're just going to do different 3D designs for all of them. Use up some scrap and then we'll, we'll move on to something else after this one. So let's do this. Rotate by 45. Oh look, diamond. I like point three for the size that we're dealing with here. It gives us enough of these that it actually can work. All right, the nudge distance still 0.15. Yep, okay, control D to duplicate, two steps over. Let's go one step over. I like the way this does, the ziggy zag. Hmm, let's go two. And then boom, 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 one more because we're actually going to go back here, duplicate down, and go down one and over one, and then we have this really cool effect that we're going to do. And then, whoa, 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 I didn't click that. Select all of it, control D, step down twice, and we're good. Oh, that was gorgeous. We're doing that one next. Look at that. Is that not sexy as hell? <laughs> Anyways, but not for this one. All right, and then duplicate, 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 yada, yada, yada. We're good. Oh, I love the look of this. I can't wait to see how that shows. Now, edit a power clip, control A to select all, convert to grayscale with map. I'm gonna try not dithered on this one. Just to see if there's actually a difference. Control G, control D to duplicate. Step it down. All right, we're gonna have some pretty cool little designs coming out. Now, keep in mind, this is the front and back of a single pendant, so this whole box is gonna make actually four little pendants. I'm going to go ahead, print it, send it to the laser, and we'll rock out. So I'm gonna put it on my mini preferences. It's gonna be down to 400. Vector speed is going to be 20 and 100. Raster speed is going to be 10 and 100 because I want it to do prettier. And Jarvis is fine. If we cut this down to 300 on account of when we converted to bitmap, we converted it to a 300 DPI bitmap. So, uh, and I never select autofocus, I always manually focus. I'm going to click OK, Apply, OK, 